But meantime, our next guest says rate cuts seem like a matter of when, not if. But it might take a downturn to get to that when point. So he bought the sectors that he thinks are best for safety along with him today. Joining us is Ken Stern, Lido Advisors president. Ken, Ken, welcome. Good to have you with us. Do you still feel, based on what you just heard uh, Steve say, that rate cuts are a matter of when, not weather? 100 percent. I absolutely think that there has to be some rate cuts. What I worry about is what's going to happen, because the market, as we all know, is a leading indicator. And what has been hoping and driving this market is the fact that employment has been so strong, and we know that. And employment being strong has saved, I think, a lot of pain. The market rallied so high last year while rates were going higher. If we see rates start, starting to come down too fast, I think the market's going to spook. And it would be, they would be coming down too fast because the market would be anticipating that the economy is in that's some right. distress, we start, sputtering. That's exactly right. If we start seeing this is the time to stress test. This is the time to take a step back and say, we've got a lot going on in the world today. We have a lot going on with the consumer. We're starting to see consumer debt you know, coming up a little bit. We're starting to see savings rates go down. I think this is the time that we do a little bit of a stress test and a little bit of election protection here. Where, how do you do it? What do you do? So instead of betting how quickly rates are going to go down, let's just say that we think the long term is positive. And with that in mind, let's, let's do a little hedge. Let's do a little downside protection. Let's, let's do something that's going to protect if the overall market goes down. Days like today where we're seeing volatility, why are we afraid of that? It's going to happen. Why don't we embrace that? Have the cash available. And I do think, and, and, and I think this is similar to your last uh, guess, Kelly, I think this is a balance. Could the Magnificent Seven still rise? Yeah. But why not go into more interest rate sensitive healthcare names, mm -hmm. financial names? Why can't we start broadening back the portfolio out? You can. Some people are just afraid to because they don't want to underperform again or they want to stick with tech. Let me just circle back in a moment. If I can just go back to Steve Leisman on the minute, Steve, uh, the market initially had a knee-jerk reaction to the downside. We're stabilizing somewhat here. How, how much should we read into this idea that they, maybe you can put it better than me, they, they weren't exactly gung-ho in the discussion, at least, about cuts. It was more in the projections. I, I, I want to go a little off topic here. Sure. This all reminds me a little bit of Bruce, a Bruce Springsteen line where it says, uh, take a ride at the light, go straight into the night, and then, boy, you're on your own. <laughs> um, to the extent the market is forecasting six rate cuts next year, or this year, sorry, it's on its own. Uh, these minutes do not back that up, would be my personal opinion mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, 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 the minutes are backing up this idea that there's likely to be rate cuts this year. Um, those are in the projections, but that the extent to which the market has that certainty, and I did see it, by the way, in the probabilities uh, in the last couple of minutes back off just a touch. It's still a 70 percent probability of a rate cut coming in March. But that is something the market has to own on its own and is cannot really point to the Fed to come to that conclusion. And it's OK. It's not wrong if Ken, for example, wants to advise his clients, hey, the Fed is going to cut rates in March and do so six times because my inflation forecast is X. I don't think you can go back to the text to support that conclusion.